Hello and welcome to Anderson's TV. My name is Jack Touchbury, Tay Tay, Andy, and... Luke from Cool. I'm mad. Unbelievable. Yes. I'm like, hey, with pure trade show styling, what have you got on offer, Luke from Cork? <laughs> we have this. Oh. With lots of crystals next to it, as you can see. How many years has this been out now? It's 20 years. Jeez Which Louise. is quite hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah. Almost as young as Tay Tay. <laughs> um, what are you calling it? My cool crystal, so special edition. And um, it's basically everything that made the microphone great, incredible sounds. Um, and yeah, have a look. And um, it's in a crystal case. Okay, here's a question. I don't, has anyone ever asked you, what are your favorite patches in here? Do you have a few, like you've been around there's it for a, 20 years? There's a few, well, I haven't been around it for 20 years, but um, I've used it quite a lot, yeah. There's a few go-tos, you've got, um, well, the, the very first patch is amazing because it's got that kind of arpeggiated thing going. I feel like we should going. plug the audio in. Should we plug yeah, some audio in? Yeah, we probably in? should. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's great. <laughs> right, favourite patches. Okay, so th this actually is one of the, the cool ones. It's the original A11, the first preset you come to. But when people think of microcore, that's kind of what they think of that kind it of sound. Is, isn't it? And it's got that MS2000 filtery vibe to it as well, because obviously the engine from the MS2000 was used in this, so, which is a very sought after synth in its day. So uh, what else we've got? We've got two banks, so let's go into here. Um, I think why, why people loved the microcorg was just because the immediacy of it. So you kind of get a sound up and just you're in straight away. Um, yeah, and of course the vocoder. That's why people. If I speak, will you play? Let's put a vocoder on. Add super booth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don't know what I'm doing here. here <laughs> Amazing. So when are these are these out? They're, they're, it's just been announced and they're going to be shipping, I think, short July time. So Pro that's yeah. proper trade show chat. Yeah. All right, nice yeah. to see you, mate. Yeah. You too, mate. A yeah. <laughs> uh, little story, Tay Tay. These were the keyboards that were in every room at ACM when I went there many moons ago. And uh, I am going to try and find Hip Hop Vintage. Let's have a listen to the Hip Hop Vintage Bank. Love some of these sounds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's got a whirly. I forgot it's got a whirly in it. Could you please introduce yourself? I'm, I'm Tad, uh, CEO of Cork Berlin. Uh, what else can I say? We're here in Berlin, and uh, it's the first time we're at Superbooth showing uh, tech. And this is tech. 
and everyone knows who watches the channel that I know nothing. I don't know what this is, so I'm really interested. What have you got in your hands? So basically, this is the first technical reveal of our new synthesis technique, which is not just synthesis, it's actually acoustic. So here I have a little other demo. We use this metal, piece of metal, and we vibrate it using a coil. So if you think of like the strings of a piano and how the hammer hits it, yeah. we hit it with the hammer as well, but it's actually an electromagnetic hammer. So we use this coil, we send a current through it, and we hit the thing. And up to there, it's kind of like an acoustic instrument with a pickup on it. But what we do, we pick up the signal, we use a different scheme for picking it up. We actually um, use a feedback system and we don't tell it what to do, but we listen to what the resonator does. So this piece of metal is a resonator and it has very different uh, ways of vibrating. So it does a simple up and down, bobbing up and down. Maybe the two arms go up and down in antiphase. Maybe it, it has more like a wave shape flowing through it. You can't see it to the eye, but it's making a very kind of complex set of um, frequencies with it. And what we do is we pick all that up and then we feed it through the system and we say, oh, the first harmonic, we want a bit more of that. Second harmonic, none of that please. Third harmonic, we put an envelope generator on it. Fourth harmonic, we put an LFO on it. So we can treat this acoustic system like you would uh, a regular synthesizer. But it's alive because you've got real vibrations, real piece of metal vibrating in there. So a bit like a spring reverb, if you hit the unit while playing it, it will make that sound. So it's basically an acoustic uh, instrument and a synthesizer at the same time. So that's what we're showing today. Debut. Wow, thanks so much for... I've got a, how long have you been cooking this up for? So you can see it's phase five, so we've had a few, uh, quite a few fails before, <laughs> before getting here. Uh, we've been cooking this for like two, two and a half years. So since establishing the company called Berlin, uh, yeah, it's been two and a half years and this is what we've been doing. Wow, unbelievable. And when do you think uh, someone like a retailer, will a retailer like us ever get a hold of one of these? Maybe not exactly this. Right, but cool. <laughs> But this, this is going to be in a museum. This is basically, we're, we're spending so much like resources and time on developing this because we really think this is going to be at, be at the core of like whole lineup or several lineups because it doesn't have to be metal. We can do this with string. We can even do it with air as well. We, we're doing experiments where we have columns of air and we're exciting it in the same way. So this could be like a wind type instrument. It could be a string type instrument. It could be more like this kind of resonator type instrument um, and also effects as well. So I think plate reverb, same system. It's basically convolution. You're con convolving signals with uh, an acoustic or a mechanical system. So this like opens up a whole new paradigm of electronic, semi-electronic, acoustic electronic instruments. What I love is you're quite clearly a genius, but you explain it so good to a layman like me. <laughs> I've been even all like, no, you nailed it. You know, <laughs> on this actual bit of kit, what are the yeah. other? Just explain the prototype because we're going to get yeah. some audio in a minute. So, so this is this is basically a very basic demonstration of, of, of what this technology can do. So we have an octave here, and we have like a kind of like a toyish keyboard that, yeah. that plays the octave. And so we have this acoustic mode, which we're just like just just ping it, you know, just hit it with that hammer that I was talking about. And then, but what we can do when we turn it into like an acoustic synth. We can sustain like the fundamental, for example. We can turn up the overtones. We can modulate the overtones with an LFO. Wow. So that's as far as this one goes. But like I said, technology has so much more potential beyond that. And is the this is the amount of voices, for this simultaneous prototype, voices? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So so this is pretty much this is kind of in between monophonic and polyphonic. But that's because uh, we have a DSP board that only. Can they can only handle one voice. Cool, yeah. But in a product, yeah, sure, we'll have the same. Because in my layman uh, break, because I, I play a lot of key, keyboards, yeah. I come from a keyboard nice, place. Nice yeah, uh, but so this looks like an electrical, mechanical keyboard to me, and the idea of like. Yeah. And obviously, it doesn't have one octave, it can be like. Yes, I'm saying. Know, it can be like that's so uh, dope. 88. Yeah. Mate, um, thank you so much for taking the time to talk thank to you. us. Real pleasure. Lovely and I want to meet you, man. Awesome, had that lovely chat with Tat. As I understand, we've got the component parts out in there and there's audio playing. We can't get a direct feed off the mixer, so you're gonna hear, I'll put up my mic to the speaker. Um, let's just go check what they got in there, let's go, come on. Basically, this is just a synthesizer that we're trying to build. Basically, we're trying to build a synthesizer that we're trying to build. 
the table and the more they get to sense the capacitance changes as the better.